All right, I had a lot of requests that I review this, and at the time I wanted to review this, the graphical installer wasn't working, but it appears they've got it working now. I'm speaking about Antargos. Now, Antargos is an Arch-based distribution which aims to make it easier for you to install Arch Linux. And it also gives you some choices for different desktops that you can install. We're going to have a look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. When you first open the installer, you're going to see that there's a command line installer available, which opens up the NCURSES interface. Okay, and you will go through everything in its list. One, two, three, four, five. There's five steps you need to complete. I'm just going to take a quick look at the install system. Pressing OK gives you some options for some different desktops that you can install. Now, the CLI installer is great for those of you that cannot seem to get the graphical installer working, although this time around I was able to get it to work. So let's go ahead and cancel this out, close out this window here, and let's have a rundown of the graphical installer that this comes with. Okay, simply just select your language, select uh, your uh, language and country that you're in. I'm in the United States, of course. All right, and then I'm just going to press forward. Okay, and then you can see you have the base, the cinnamon, the gnome, the open box, the Razor QT, and the XFCE versions. I'm going to opt for cinnamon on this one, but you can choose any one of these that you like. I had some requests to do a Cinnamon 2 review, and that will be coming up next. All right, and of course, you follow the other procedures, uh, just like any uh, Ubuntu install. So pretty much this is all straightforward and fairly easy to use. And then once the installer is completed, you'll reboot your computer, and then we'll get into our desktop. You've seen this procedure before, so no need for me to go through the entire process with you again. Okay, and here it is. I opted for the Cinnamon desktop, and I'm just going to give you a brief rundown of some of the things you get with this. Now, because of all the different choices of desktops that um, this gives you, I can't really give you a RAM usage assessment on all of the desktops because I didn't install all of them, so I'm going to skip that on this one. But... Um, because the amount of RAM that your system is going to be using is pretty much dependent on the desktop that you chose. All right, but here we are. We have a Cinnamon desktop, and I had an issue with it displaying the graphics properly, um, so I opted for a color gradient. Otherwise, the screen was going to really look all kind of wonky, wonky, wonky and stuff, you know? And I don't know why this is, but any time I've tried to run Cinnamon in VirtualBox, it gives me some pretty weird graphical, yeah, on the desktop. So can't really have that for this review. And I'm certainly not going to install this on my machine and replace my wonderful men, Horo Linux. Can't do that, because... Yeah, I love my man Harl. Okay, so let's have a look at this and see what you get. Now, I haven't done any alterations to Cinnamon, so once this installs and it's set up, this is what you get. And uh, pretty much in your accessories, you get a number of accessories to choose from. Uh, you get a 7-zip and an archive manager, calculator, discs, I get it, Nemo, Pac-Man XG, which is their front-end package manager. Let's take a look at this. It's going to prompt you for your password. And then once this starts to run, it's going to tell me that there is an error warning. Okay, and there's only one error, really. Um, it looks, looks like there's two of them. Uh, Re-Pac-Man, check. And then, of course, uh, Yowert, check. Now, one thing I've noticed, though, Yower isn't installed. So that's why you see this error. So if you want to access packages from the Arch user repository, you're going to need to use this to install Yower. And that's simple. Uh, just go into Start here. Click on Package Management. Very nicely laid out uh, front end for Pac-Man. So it's great for those of you who want to use an Arch-based system, but uh, kind of are in fear of the terminal. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do a search for Yaourt. Okay, here it is. You just select that. Okay, you click over here to the left, and a little funny little arrow will show up. Press the check mark. Press continue. Press OK. Okay, the process has completed. Let's close this. All right, I'm going to close this now, and let's relaunch it again to see now if it detects that I have Yaourt installed. Maybe I'll do a search for a package that I know is in the Arch user repository. So let's give it the password again. It says error and warnings. Okay, but now there's a repack man check. What that is, I don't know. It's probably something else we need to install if you want to add that functionality. I'm not going to bother with that now. I'm just going to click start here. I'm going to package management now, and I know that Compiz is in the Arch user repository, so let's do a search for that. Okay, it looks like we also have include A O A U R. Ah, let's click this. Ah, here we go. All right. So by clicking include the AUR, now you can see there are packages here that you can install on your system without having to open a terminal. Personally, I prefer using the terminal because, you know, I like to see what's going on. But I think this will actually open up a terminal anyway when you go ahead and install these. So very nice looking front end indeed. Let's see what else you get with this distribution. Okay, in graphics, you get a document viewer and Shotwell. Not very much. And that is what they had in mind with this distribution. As I was reading the, uh, the welcome messages as this was installing, this was designed to be fairly lightweight so that you can add on to this and make it the distribution that you want it to be. Okay, so there's a few internet tools. You get Chromium, Empathy, uh, Hot Hot, and Transmission. In Office, you get the LibreOffice installer, so this isn't included, so only if you want it. And then, of course, you get Events Document Viewer, which will pretty much open up everything that's out there. Okay, in Preferences, uh, a few little things here. Sound and Video, Cheese, XF Burn, yeah, they picked the good one. And then, of course, you get XNoise for managing all of your music. You get a few system tools to get the most out of this system right here with the inclusion of the Cinnamon System Settings, Cinnamon Users and Groups, your Deconf Editor, a System Monitor, and the Terminal. And then, of course, access to your places. Okay, let's have a look at the Cinnamon System Settings. You can configure everything in your system easily right here. Your backgrounds, your effects, all of your fonts, your themes, account details, applets, your calendar, applications and removable media, desklets, it's all here, ready for you to, you know, uh, tweak your system and make it yours to your liking. Now, the only thing that concerns me about Antargos is that it does get most of its packages from the official Arch repositories. This means you're running bleeding edge software, but that also means that sometimes Packages that download when you update your system can potentially break your system. And with that being said, I cannot recommend this to beginners because you're going to have to use the forms. You're going to have to use the Arch documentation to figure out how to fix problems that can and possibly will occur. So this does make it easier for those of you who want to try Arch Linux without having to go through the command line and manually configuring all your packages. This does it for you, but you're still going to have to do the work on this. And for that reason, I probably could not use a distribution such as this myself uh, because, you know, I'd like to be able to spend more time being productive on my machine rather than fixing problems when they arise. So, um, but all in all, I do like their approach here. This looks really good. Uh, the graphical installer finally works now. It didn't work for me before. As a matter of fact, the last time I want to look at this and review it, I could get neither the graphical installer nor the uh, 
command line installer working properly, sure it would install, but it wouldn't boot up. And also at that time, it didn't have VirtualBox support, so it was a tiny little box on the screen with black borders all around it. That would be, I can't, can't really, I can't review a distro like that. So the fact that they've made these changes and that sort of thing shows me that they're making a move in the right direction, and this distro has a lot of potential. So if you really want to try Arch Linux and you don't want to go through the hassle of manually uh, typing in everything from the terminal, why don't you give this one a shot? My Cinnamon Review version 2 is next. Mm -hmm.